Hi everyone. I was born in Newburyport, Massachusetts in 1808. Now with a name like Atkinson and Moline, you may have thought I was Swedish, but I'm actually pure English stock. My family came to New England straight from England in 1635. Now I came from a very large family. I have six brothers and one sister. Now you'll see here the names Deer, Atkinson, Dickinson. That's actually all related to my one sister, Judith, who I'll talk a little bit more about later. Now, coming from a large family, I had to work very hard. I worked on my father's farm, and uh, when I was 16, I tried to go into business on my own, but I wasn't too successful. After that, I tried a few more business ventures, and I continued to be not too successful. Um, finally, though, in 1830, I married Anne Eliza Bates when I was 21. Now, uh, she outlived me and was actually buried up in the plot next to mine, and we managed to live a very long, happy life together. However, we never actually had any children of our own. Now, though, going back to New England, uh, at that time, it was a very rough place. Everyone knew that if you really wanted to make it, you had to head out west. And so in 1835, my brother Joshua and I headed west and ended up in Illinois, where we settled in Whiteside County on the Rock River near Providence. Now, it seemed to be a nice enough place, and so we returned to New England to retrieve our families, and we brought them all out to settle near Prophetstown. Now, our first winter there was very tough. Whenever we needed any sort of supplies, we needed to go down to Rock Island. Uh, one time, on a trip down there, we got caught in a prairie fire. I happened to be holding a black powder flask in my hand, which exploded uh, and left my right hand disfigured for the rest of my life. Now, my brother decided to stay in Prophetstown, but Anne and I decided we wanted to go a little bit further uh, south down the river. So we did that and ended up in Henry County near Cleveland. Now, times were fairly good when we were in Henry County. I became a master of the peace, a probate judge, and I actually cut wood and built the first frame house in Henry County. Now, I, I liked Henry County quite a bit. In fact, I liked it so much that in my later years, a group of us uh, went down and we invested in some land there. It was about 44,000 acres. Now, uh, they must have liked me pretty well too when I was there because they ended up naming a town after me. Now, uh, even though no matter how much I liked Henry County, I knew I wanted to be where there was a little bit more population. So we continued down the Mississippi and we ended up in Rock Island Mills. Now again, with a group of partners, we uh, decided to invest in some land and we had a surveyor come to look at it. Now, the surveyor asked us, okay, what should this land be called? Now, we had two options. The first was Hesperia, which meant Star of the West, or our second option was Moline, which meant City of Mills. Now, I said, let us call it Moline. So, really, I was the one who named the city. Now, I uh, was fairly religious and decided that we needed some religion in the area as well, so I helped, helped to found the first congregational church here in Moline. Some of our early members were John Gould, Jonathan Huntoon and John Deere. Speaking of whom, uh, back before uh, I founded this church, back before even we had formally named the town, in 1848, I knew that if we were going to grow this area, that we needed more industry. And so I invited a young blacksmith down from Grand Detour to start a business. And that blacksmith's name was... Yes, you've been paying attention, I can tell. Um, now, this wasn't a purely selfless act on my part because uh, I did help supply him the water power that he needed for his factory. And also, uh, through my sawmill, he purchased all of the wood that he needed for his plow handles. Now, uh, we were doing fairly well here in Moline, but there was still one thing that was standing in the way of our growth. And that was that in the winter, when the Mississippi River would freeze over, we had no ways to ship goods to or from uh, Moline. And so we knew that to remedy this, we needed to bring in a railroad. So again, I uh, gathered a group of a few people and uh, together we raised money going as far as Columbus, Ohio to raise what was at the time a very princely sum of $660,000. Now, with that money, we managed to build and bring the first railroad here to Moline in 1854. Now, the rest of the 1850s were, were going fairly well for me. Uh, my business was booming, Moline was prospering, but I thought, What's one more project? And so knowing that we had the island in the middle of the Mississippi known as Rock Island, I thought that that would make a fairly good arsenal for our uh, national military. And so in 1867, following the Civil War and following uh, three eventful trips to uh, Washington, D.C., 
I successfully convinced our federal government to invest in and build the Rock Island Arts. Now at this point, I was uh, getting close to 70 years of age and, and I was deciding to slow down a little bit, um, just to enjoy the life that I had built. And so in 1880, my wife and I actually managed to celebrate our 50th wedding anniversary. Now, to return to the three names that we have here on the stairs. Again, we have Deer, we have Atkinson, and we have Dickinson. So again, three names that all of you may be familiar with. And so this all goes back again to my sister Judith, who also ended up coming out to settle with us here in this area. Now, Judith ended up marrying Gideon Dickinson, and both of them are uh, buried up in the front of this plot here. Uh, with Gideon, uh, she had two daughters. The first was named Anna, who unfortunately she passed away when she was 24 years old. But the second daughter was named Mary Little Dickinson, and she ended up marrying Charles Deer. And so that ended up making her name Mary Little Deer, which is just a very fun name, if I can say so myself. And so they are buried up at the top of the hill, um, and they also, since uh, Anna and I never had any children, they are the closest descendants that I ever had. My name is Charles Atkinson, 1808 to 1887. Thank you. Thank you.